We are here with Andrew McCart, rare uh, on-camera appearance from yeah. IFL TV. Uh, just fresh off the Fury uh, Wilder fight in Vegas. Um, got to get your assessment because uh, I'm sure you've asked people a lot. You know what is their assessment? I, I got to get your assessment on the fight. What did you think? I was amazed. I was shocked. I, I was obviously I was I was Fury up until I got to Vegas. When I got to Vegas, I was like, Wilder looks good. And I don't like making predictions, obviously, being that we are media and stuff like that, but when I got to Vegas, I was like, oh my gosh, it, it, this is a 50-50 fight now. And when Tyson came out and said he's going to stop him and he's going to come in at 270 pounds, I was like, oh, man, no way. But then he's proved everyone wrong time and time again. He proved me wrong. He pro proved all the talking heads on Fox News and Fox Sports 1 and ESPN wrong. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm shocked that he actually went out there, put it on Tyson from the first first bell until it, the towel got thrown in in the seventh round so he's a gypsy king you know what I mean he's a, he's a gypsy king like shades of Ali in the terms of he, he predicts he tells you what he's going to do and he goes out I'm not saying he is Ali so be people in the YouTube comments don't hate me I'm not saying he is Ali I'm saying it's shades of Ali in terms of the way he goes out there and says I'm going to stop him in two I'm going to do this I'm going to put it on him from the first bell I'm coming in 270 pounds I'm going to lean on him I'm going to do this predicted the whole thing apart from the round and executed it. So, what can you say? What can you say? Super impressive. Super impressive. What? Um, uh, I, I did want to ask you this because, if you, if, uh, from the outside looking in, right? We, we, we don't we don't know the the ev all the details, but it seems like to a degree, Fury wasn't fully embraced by the UK fans until maybe a couple of years ago. Until maybe what the first Wilder fight? It, would you say that's fair? Yes. And and, and what, why do you think that's changed? I, I think I don't know. I think Joshua was the the golden child coming out of the Olympics in 2012, winning the gold, then signing with Eddie, then obviously with the Sky, the Sky machine behind him, all the, the profile, building his profile up to this guy, and Joshua was a sound, sound guy, like he's saying all the right things, Tyson's coming out and saying things like, I don't know, he's saying things towards people and stuff like that, he's like, I don't give a shit, I don't do this, I do that, can I swear on this channel? Absolutely. Yeah, right, okay. So <laughs> he's, saying, he's saying things that Joshua isn't saying, Joshua's being more diplomatic, being polite, being humble about things when Tyson, Tyson isn't and because Tyson's got the sky machine behind him and the, the PR behind him and stuff I think the fans gravitated towards Joshua I mean Tyson's saying all these derogatory things towards certain people and certain things and what you're not the fans sort of didn't like him that much but then he's what he's done in terms of the mental health thing blowing up to 400 pounds losing the weight helping people with mental health and then just basically flipping the whole script and seeing, showing the real Tyson. Sometimes you say things, sometimes you say things just to get your name out there or say things to be like, oh, why is he like that? F that guy, I want to be like that. You say things just to get your name in there. You see, look, you've been in the fight game. You know what fighters are like. As soon as a fighter's doing well, you get one fighter who maybe is on the cusp, be like, oh, fuck that guy. I want to be where he is so I can, smile, I can knock him out. And you're saying things just to get up there. MMA fighters do it, boxers do it. It's just one of them things, you know? So, yeah, he wasn't embraced up until we maybe he lost the weight, but like we, what he's done, man, the guy's a legend, a living legend. It's changed now, obviously. Oh, 100%, yeah. Like, I think in Manchester, when he got off the plane in Manchester, the, the crowd that's, uh, the media and the, all the crowd that came out to support him and stuff like that, I mean, that was probably one of the best, I'm not saying it is, I'm saying it's one of the best British fights on foreign soil for a British fighter. I mean, coming in, in America's backyard, fighting an American heavyweight, how many British heavyweights have done that? Maybe Lennox Lewis? But not many, not many have come into America and conquered America, fought an American heavy. Americans, have, you've dominated the heavyweight division. And you're, for the last maybe two, three years, it's finally our turn. But who knows how long that will last, because he's always come back, so. What, from your you're, perspective? You're, you're, you're not coming in, you, you look like a big heavy, you, like you, can, you can handle yourself. You're, you're always going on. Uh, more, more of a football, American football oh, American guy. Football <laughs> guy. <laughs> what, what are you, uh, <laughs> offensive line? Yeah, 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 yeah I knew yeah. that. We're tired. You're tired, really. <laughs> um, what, um, Wilder, does does, ah, does does this damage his legacy? What, no. What, no? Nope, nope, it does not. I mean, the guy, just because he's lost a fight. Muhammad Ali lost a fight. Did that damage his legacy? Joe Frazier lost a fight. Josh Foreman lost a fight. Any of their legacies damaged? Not one. Not so one. It's the heavyweight division, right? It's the heavyweight division. Floyd Mayweather created this 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 whole persona around that zero. Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robertson all lost fights. Roberto Duran, who I think is an absolute legend. He's my favourite fighter, Roberto Duran. He's lost fights. The best British fighter in the history of the sport, Ken Buchanan. Yes, I said it, Ken Buchanan. <laughs> the best British fighter in the history of the sport, Ken Buchanan, lost a fight. 
fighters lose fights, it doesn't damage the legacy one bit. And while there's still 42 wins, 41 knockouts, that speaks for itself. Granted, he's not the best boxer. He's not the, the greatest boxer on the planet. He can fight. He's, he can't box. That's, that's, that's the difference for Wilder. If you, and the thing with Tyson, that he can box and he, and he can fight. And when you amalgamate the two, you've just got a, 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 pure, a pure fighter. When Wilder can't am, amalgamate fighting and boxing, if that makes sense, he can't. He can only fight. So when you, he comes up with somebody who's elite like Fury, that's it. I mean, the first fight, look what he done. He dropped Fury twice, albeit that Fury had two nothing fights in that six months losing the weight, but still he gave him a close fight in that, that uh, first fight, didn't he? So for sure, it, you know, you know, mo most objective boxing fans have a two zero Fury right now as yeah, well. Yeah. Is um, do you give Wilder a chance in the, in the, in the trilogy? Mm. Puncher's chance because it was the power. Obviously a puncher's yeah. chance, but. I just think the beat down in that second fight there when you had Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury was training to lose weight for that first fight. He was training to lose weight. Not training to fight. He was training to lose weight. Now, this second fight, he was training to, to fight. He was training. He had the weight had gone. He wasn't training for anything else. It was solely to fight. Everything was fundamental. It was boxing. Set down on his punches. Body shots. How many heavyweights go at the body? They're all headhunters. He went to the body. He switched it up perfectly. And that was a whole game plan. But in that six months from losing the weight to Wilder in the first fight that was all about the weight it was all about losing weight and I, I don't know I, I just think that the third fight after that beat down in the second fight I, he's got the right to exercise the rematch or uh, the trilogy sorry he's got the right obviously being the former champion but on a selfish point of view again and I'm being selfish I know I am I, I want to see the Joshua fight if that was going to lead into my, my next question, I'll make it the last one too because I know you got stuff yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, <laughs> the queue, man, the oh, okay. The queue, the queue is massive for Eddie. Yeah. Uh, it is, uh, um, how do you see how do you, early predictions on, Fury, on uh, Fury Joshua? How do you see it going? You see the splinters on Mars? I'm sitting on the fence. I've got wood splinters up my bum, and I ain't, I ain't picking that fight. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Uh, yeah, I'm. 50 50 fight? 50 50 fight. It's a 50 50 fight. I mean, well, well yeah. <laughs> Fury's the number one guy in the heavyweight division. He's, okay. he's, he's the, he is the guy in the heavyweight division. I will say that. I will say that. But Josh has proved that when he, I think he got a silver in the Worlds, he came back and won a gold in the Olympics. When he got dropped in the, against Dillian White as an amateur in his sixth fight, whatever it was, he came back and won the ABAs. When he lost against Andy Ruiz in Madison Square Garden, he came back, immediate rematch, and put on a boxing, a, a, a boxing masterclass, really. Box off the back foot. Jab, one, run, one, two, hold, one, two, similar to what Klitschko does. And Joshua can, he, he takes his losses and he, you can call them learning process thing because he takes them and he learns more from a loss and comes back and does even better. Like I said to you, world silver, came back, won Olympic gold. Dropped by Dillian White in the sixth fight in the amateurs, came back and won the ABs, A's, which I think is the golden gloves in the States. You know, so got beat by Ruiz, came back, re reassessed himself, came back and done exactly what he needed to do, embarrassed Ruiz that second fight really. Ruiz promised everyone he's going to do the same thing, same thing again and didn't, didn't, didn't execute it. So you can never write Joshua off, but right now at this moment in time, Tyson Fury is the man, top, the, man the top of that tree. You could, you could argue he's pound for pound top 10 in the world right now. I wouldn't say, yeah. would say he's up there with Crawford, Lomachenko and Canelo, but he's in the top 10 I would say. Me personally, I'm putting after this. I'm putting him in the top five pound for pound. Oh, yeah. I'm putting him in the top five. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy. I mean, he deserves. I mean, <laughs> while the longest reigning heavyweight champion, like he's knocking everyone out. Like, and uh, granted that Lomachenko move up and down weights, and that's how people judge it. Crawford's moving up and down weights. Spence and Canelo moving up and down weights. Winning heavyweights can't do that, clearly. Yep. But yep. Tyson Fury went out there and took the biggest punching guy in in boxing to, today, took it to him. Wasn't scared of his right hand. Landed his own right hands, dropped him twice, and made him quit. So, right now, I think Tyson is the man at the heavyweight division. For sure, for sure. Who, who, um, you know, here, here, in, here in the states, we don't always hear about, you know, the UK prospects and and, and, and yeah. the guys. Dubois is a guy that I mm -hmm. keep in, consistently hearing about. Obviously, has the Joyce fight coming up. Who are some of the young UK fighters that fans should look out for and that you're excited about? Uh, a young guy called Dennis McCann, another gypsy like Tyson Fury. Dennis McCann. Uh, I think he's four zero. I think he's. I'm going to guess, I think he's super bantamweight or featherweight. I'm not sure, it's four no. Watch out for the kid, Dennis McCann. Then you've got an Irish guy called Sean McComb, uh, 140 pounder, looks like he's moving down to 135 pound. Cracking fighter as well. Uh, I think he's 13 and 0 coming up. Another Irish fighter, Gary Cully, 
you, you're getting a trend here. It's all gypsies and Irish guys and Scottish guys. But <laughs> um, aye, there, there's, there's loads, actually. There's loads. The UK's buzzing at the moment. Hey there, Fight fans. Breon Page here with Fanatics View. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more knockouts, subscribe down below at Fanatics View. Ha, 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 ha.